I'm most likely gonna be shooting outside from now on because it's nice outside and I need fresh air because I'm going through some things. So yeah. This video is going to be on the topic of being the black sheep of your family. I did a thread on Twitter basically about the positives of being the black sheep or like, you know, the bright side of it. So I wanted to just um, do a quick video on it because the thread got a lot of uh, feedback and a lot of questions in my DMs and stuff like that. The positives of being the black sheep and also um, how to tell if you are the black sheep. But if you are the black sheep, I'm sure you already know that you are. And I also want to explain why certain people are the black sheep in their family and what prompts the rest of the family to mistreat that specific person and single them out. The black sheep of the family is the person who obviously is very different from the rest of their family. If all of your family share certain morals, values, or a way of doing things and you just always kind of deviated from that and you really can't relate to the things that they are interested in or the way their mind works then most likely you are the black sheep of the family and often the black sheep of the family is very rebellious or appears to be rebellious because they just don't think the same way the rest of the family thinks and a lot of the time they will get um, picked on and picked apart by the rest of the family because they don't think the same as everybody else. Now I said in my thread that the black sheep of the family is usually the one that's most spiritual, the mo one that's most creative, and the black sheep of the family is usually the one that turned out to be an empath or a highly sensitive person. And that's you it's usually the person who ends up going on their spiritual journey and elevating spiritually. So if you are the black sheep of your family, that's definitely an upside to being the black sheep is that you have a very good chance of moving on with your life after you're away from your family and healing. But there's a very good chance that your family will pretty much remain the same for the rest of their lives unless there's some type of divine miracle or intervention because the family that usually gangs up on the black sheep or like picks on the black sheep they usually have a lot of deep embedded issues and what they do is they take the issues that they have or that they've always had and they will put it off on the black sheep and put that weight on the black sheep's shoulders so the black sheep of the family will be blamed for every thing that's wrong with the family okay for example if there's a full family of let's say alcoholics right and you know the adults of the family are raging alcoholics and they're violent and they fight and all this and that instead of turning inward and looking at themselves like listen i have a problem i'm an alcoholic i need to go get help what they'll do is they'll turn it on the black sheep like oh well i drink because of the way you are the way that you act or you drive me crazy you make me act this way you know um so basically the black sheep another word for that would be the scapegoat um all of the family's problems is pretty much put off onto the black sheep the black sheep tends to be you know really traumatized as they grow up because of the things that they have to endure from their family during childhood um they usually don't get their emotional needs met at all like their need for protection security love affection attention the black sheep most likely was deprived of those things and so when they grow older they are still actively seeking out those things so if you are the black sheep of your family don't think that just because you cut your family off which i'm going to talk about in a second don't think that when you cut your family off that your work here is done and like you're going to be good because if you truly are the black sheep of your family then you have a lot of self-limiting beliefs that have been embedded into you by your family like i said in my third the black sheep is usually the one who is who has the most potential and the family can see it and they don't like it it's like your potential reminds them of their shortcomings so anything that they didn't accomplish in life if they see they see that the black sheep can get there from an early age they can tell and they will do everything in their power to try to break you down and destroy you because they can't allow you to be successful because that they take that as a personal injury and they're trying to protect themselves or protect their own feelings because they just can't they can't face their own shortcomings so as the black sheep you have to be aware of the fact that before you were even born these people had problems so their problems are not yours like a lot of the time these people specifically have kids to try to fix their own problems like if they didn't get enough love and affection from their parents they'll go and have a kid right the kid will be born let's say that kid's you and you won't 
be the kid that they wanted you to be maybe like you won't be that kid that goes along with everything that they say or that doesn't have a um or doesn't have a follower mentality like you might be that kid that's rebellious and you ask questions and the parents might realize then and there that yeah us having this kid to try to mold them into be who I want them to be to fulfill my own needs or my own downfalls they're not that now so now it's time to try to drag them down and bring them down and that's what happens a lot with the black sheep um you know it, it's it's really it's really unfortunate actually um to know that you can have so much potential as a baby or you can come to this world everybody comes to this world with potential but it's unfortunate that the people who are supposed to love you and care for you they see that potential as a threat and they try to like stomp your fire out before it's too late there's a story that i was told that when i was a baby that when i was like one or two or something like that i knew like the exact time that my favorite show came on and so i would like go and grab the remote and i would know the exact channel to to turn it on and you know anybody any other family would praise things like that and be like oh my god she's so smart like she's so this you know she's gifted but <laughs> instead i was called a creep she's sneaky she's too smart for her own good and she's a creep because i knew how to like i guess grab the remote when no one was looking and change the channel so i was labeled a sneak and a creep when i was an infant like come on now come like honestly come on and i think it's just it's it's i, I smile about it now because i'm past it but it's it's really not funny it's really like it's really it, it's ridiculous and it's a very sad existence um a very sad existence but i just want to remind everybody that if you are the black sheep of your family literally there's nothing wrong with you there's something wrong with everybody else and it's very hard being a sane person in a sea of insane which leads me to healing from being the black sheep of your family so my advice would definitely be to get far come 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 closer get far away from your family as you possibly can um cut all ties with them and you're probably watching this video right now and possibly horrified like i can't do that i can't just cut ties with my family like i'm dependent on them right now if you are dependent on your family first of all it's not uncommon for the black sheep to be dependent on their family because there is this thing called infantization infant i believe i'm pronouncing it right i'll put a I'll put it across the screen so you can see how it's spelled. Where basically an abused child will be stuck in a state of being a child, even as an adult. It's like their abusers have put them into this this cage of like helplessness where they feel like they can't fend for themselves and they have no confidence. So if you are a black sheep, most likely you suffer from this and most likely you feel like you can't really do anything in life by yourself and you feel like you're dependent and stuck on your abusive family. And I'm here to tell you right now that the only reason you feel like that is because they have programmed you to feel that way. That's the only reason they want to keep you around so they can keep on abusing you. So your job is to realize that these people don't have your best interests at heart and realize that these people want you around because they don't want to see you fly they don't want to see you succeed in anything so as long as you're around them and you try to succeed they're always going to find a way to sabotage it birthdays graduations whatever they're always going to find a way to, to sabotage it and you're always going to be triggered because even if they don't find a way to sabotage your happiness they will not ever applaud you for your achievements and that's going to trigger you so my advice is if you are of age save your money save it save it save it and move as far away from them as you possibly can if you don't want to cut communication completely then limit the amount of communication you have with them and you need to be focused on healing yourself you can't even you can't even focus on the things that they've done to you or hold a grudge or be bitter towards them or you know turn your attention on trying to succeed just to like shine on them you don't have time like you really don't have time to be to to be doing that you have to really f fully turn inward and focus on yourself your own healing yes these people did something terrible to you yes they treated you like shit your whole life but in the same breath you have to understand that these people are extremely damaged and broken people everything that they're doing they're doing it on a subconscious level they don't even realize why they're treating you the way they treat you and i'm not saying to give them a pass for that or let that be an excuse but i'm saying that if you come from a place of understanding and you understand why they treated you the way they treated you your healing process is going to be much 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 quicker so 
like I said, subconsciously, they're broken already. They're broken within themselves. So you can turn inward right now and realize that, you know, you have potential to do great things if you just heal yourself and let go of any animosity that you hold towards them. So coming from a place of understanding, limiting your communication with them, and rebuilding relationships or forming new relationships with people who love you is important too. You have to dilute a negative with a positive, or that's the only way you can remove a negative is with a positive. So if you have a bunch of people who are constantly tearing you down, going into isolation is not going to help you at all. You have needs as a human, and most of your needs have not been met in childhood, so now you need to have those needs met and you need people who love you and support you and i know that sounds crazy because we're taught that you know we don't need anybody we're not supposed to need anybody but the truth of the matter is if you've been abused and you have not been loved your whole life you need love like that's the only way to combat that fake ass love that they were giving you is with real love so and i'm not saying to force real love like go out and desperately search for somebody to love no don't do that the more you heal yourself the more you take care of yourself the more positive loving people you're going to attract attract your way self-love is going to attract um love from other people from other sources because self-love it just projects onto the world and then comes right back to you so anything that you put out is just going to mirror and come back to you so if you're loving yourself you're going to attract people who love you and i'm pretty sure you probably have people right now in your life who love you even if your self-care or self-love is not where it needs to be i'm sure there are people who love you right now um and those relationships are the relationships that you want to nurture and make sure you keep in touch with those people and keep those people close to you and continue to treat them well don't shut them out because of what other people have done to you Oh, and that person for me is my sister. Hi Juju, if you're watching, I know she's watching because she watches all my videos because that's my sissy. And she supports me fully and loves me fully and I love her to death. And my sister, that's like, that's real love. Um, and it definitely dilutes all the bullshit, you know? Like my relationship with her is like on a whole nother level than any type of petty shit that I'm, I might have been going through with my family. You know what I'm saying? It, it just like cancels it out times 10. So definitely um, nurture your relationships and definitely um, stick with people who love you because you deserve this damn motorcycle, oh my God. Because you deserve to have people around your corner who love you. Now, if you are a teenager or a child who um, cannot move out of their house or who's not independent, my suggestion would be to find something that you love to do and every day you make sure that you do that thing at least once a day. Try to drown out all the negativity that's going on around you. Focus on keeping yourself as happy as possible until it's time for you to leave, to, for you to move out. So I will end this video by saying that if you are the black sheep of your family, hold your head up, um, keep on creating, because I'm 99% sure that you are an artist. You are talented and creative in some way I can bet my life on it. And if you are the black sheep, I can also bet my life that you're probably on a spiritual journey keep on walking on that path keep on walking on that spiritual journey if you can combine your creativity with your talent and your spiritual journey and end up making money off of it that's even better and um the more recognition i guess you get from your creativity or for your art for your work the more people you can help in this world and i do feel like black sheep were specifically put here to raise the vibrational frequency of this planet and to inspire other people to do better and i feel like that's why we do end up being the most creative type of people the most sensitive type of people the most loving and caring type of people because we were put on this earth for a mission and a purpose and you need to be using your gifts to give back to other people because you have been appointed a responsibility and responsibility not in a heavy way because you're not required to but if you are the black sheep i can bet you any amount of money that you're not, you know you're not required to help people, but you enjoy helping people. So continue to do that. All right, so that is it. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that the noise in the background wasn't too much. When I edit this, I'll see if I'm gonna be still recording outside or if I'll be taking it back into my office. Just, we'll switch it up and see. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. Be sure to thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And if you are the black sheep in your family, feel free to comment below, share your story, share your hardships if you've overcome it then let us know how you overcame it i always want my comment sections on my videos to be almost like forums for us to help each other out in our healing and growing process so that is it and i will see you guys in the next one bye